Hi everyone, welcome to the screencast. In this screencast, I'm going to demo the application version update and uh, the continuous delivery features we have added in uh, the commercial edition of Spring Cloud Dataflow. I have got Spring Cloud Dataflow Pro Server installed on Kubernetes and I have also registered few applications as you can see in the applications page here. Typically, when we want to register an application, we will register the container image URL and, and a version associated with that. And this is uh, typically the tag name of the associated container image. If there is a new version available, then we would have to explicitly register that in Dataflow. And with this new feature addition, what we have done is that you can check for updates of any new application versions available from the container registries. In that case, you don't have to explicitly register them. Instead, you look for all the new version updates for all the applications or the applications used by streams or applications that are used by task. In this case, let's go for all the applications version updates since we have got only few applications. And this is going to retrieve the versions of individual applications. And these are the new tags available from the container registries. And in this case, you can choose the versions and explicitly uh, register them in Dataflow. This way you don't have to enter individual applications as you want to register new versions of them from container registries. And along with that, we have also added continuous delivery mechanism. In this case, I have got a couple of streams already deployed and running. And uh, these uh, streams can be updated as and when there are new versions available. And I'm going to perform exactly that. And now when I click on update versions, and this is going to show me the list of applications that are used by all the streams and the associated available versions associated with each application. In this case, let's choose log application. And for log applications, I have a couple of new versions available and I'm going to choose 214 release as the new version. And if I want to make this as a new default for any of the new streams created, and uh, the log 214 release would be the default version to be deployed, then I can set that here as well. And now since log application is used by both TikTok as well as HTTP ingest streams, and this update operation is going to be performed on both the streams. As you can see here, the, the list of operations that we do here is that automatic registration of new version that we picked up and making that as the default since we chose that option and perform the update operation of both the streams involved. So this way, when there is a new version of the uh, application available, uh, that container image will get updated with all the streams that are running in my Dataflow system. And now this is performing the stream update operation on HTTP ingest as well as TikTok stream. It's done now, I'm going to close this. Along with updating all the streams at once, you can also perform the update of the stream individually. So you can go here and see, you know, if you want to choose a specific version and perform the stream update again. But uh, you can also perform the update, the update of the stream by specifying deployment properties and you know versions in a typical update flow. In summary, we can see that the stream update can be done in three ways using Spring Cloud Dataflow Pro Server. One with the update versions options where we can update multiple applications with their changed application versions. Second, with uh, the individual stream update where we can perform the, the, uh, the stream update of all the changed application versions. The third option would be with the regular stream update where we can perform individual stream update with uh, the deployment properties along with the application versions. One additional note for the task applications, once we have the application versions updated from the applications page, these applications versions can be implicitly registered and make them available for task definitions to be launched and scheduled. And with this, we have come to the conclusion on this screencast. Thanks for watching.